it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to day 22 of Craftmas and for today's video I'm going to be building some Christmas village shops with you guys. So we're getting stuck right into today's video at the moment. Now I'm going to be showing you how to fully build one of these shops and then I'll be showing you all the different variations that I do so I'll kind of show you guys how to make them all different. First thing first though, the base of this shop I'm using the stone brick block and I am going 4 blocks high with it today. I'll be using a mix of andesite, stone brick and cobblestone for my base which I will show you in a second when I finish off building all these. Now you don't have to do a mix of stone like I am doing but I think it just looks quite nice which is why I went for a mix just like you can see here at the moment. Now I'm not going to give dimensions for these shops because depending on what kind of shape you have going in your village, you might have a different base. I'm going to show you though all the different bases that I do at the end of this video when I build a few more of these little shops. Now this shop I'm kind of building like a little corner window here and underneath the window I am just doing some stone brick staircases to make a window trim. And the top of the window I'll actually do like a little kind of cover like this. Now the cover I'm actually using the cobblestone block because I like the look of it but you're more than welcome to use stone brick or even the smooth stone, anything like that. I just wanted a little bit of variation. Now I will add more windows to the bottom of this build and I'll also add a front door here. Now the way that you can change the base of your build to make it really unique is you can change how the bottom of the building looks. So you might want a trim around the whole base of the build, your front door details like this one I'm doing at the moment might be different. Maybe you have corner details. Like one of my builds I might do smooth stone for the edges, maybe one of the builds I might do some staircases going sideways to make kind of like little trims like that. That's kind of how you change the base of your build and then the top of the build you change by changing the roof style, the color block choice, stuff like that. Once we have this base though we're going to start building up. Now my build for this one I'm going to be building against the stone brick exactly so we're not going to make it pop off at all but I will make one of my other builds actually come off the bottom floor a little bit so it's kind of medieval theme. Now remember I'm making my build look like this because I do have a little German theme going on with my village which is why I'm trying to keep the like the buildings and the shops German looking as well but a little bit bigger. I'm just adding some dark oak log details at the moment just to all the corners of my build and a couple in the middle for a bit of extra. And I'm also just filling in the walls with the white concrete like this the whole way up and I went 4 blocks high for my walls. Now if you were building a normal German town maybe you would make these a bit taller maybe like 8 or 12 blocks. Normally when I, well, when I was in Germany and I saw buildings over there in the city or even if you do some researching on Google, typically town buildings have about three stories on top of the base, but because we're only building a little village, I only wanted little buildings, so I'm just doing one story, maybe two story high on these buildings. We're now going to add some details to the second level of these buildings, which is another way that you can make them all look different. So earlier I mentioned you can change the colour, so for this one I'm doing the white concrete, but for the others I might do like the green terracotta or things like that. I'm also adding some little planter pots to these ones but instead of putting flowers in them because we are in a cold climate I might do some spruce saplings or maybe even some ferns kind of like colder plants. I'm also adding some little overhangs to the build like this but I think that looks a little bit too much so we might remove that and do a staircase or a slab or something. But you can see what I mean about adding details to the top floor. Now you might have no planter boxes on the other buildings. Maybe you do have planter boxes. You might add little under window details like we did on the bottom story but also on the top. You might do a log across the bottom like I am here. 
you might do big windows that are really tall or windows that are wider just little changes like that will make each building look unique but they all have the same kind of style I think this is looking pretty good though for kind of like details the other thing I might add a bit later on is maybe some stone buttons just for a little something else I think that might look nice as well I'm just going to keep going ahead adding more dark oak to the base here and around the back as well now when I do buildings I like to add not as many details to the back of buildings just because I think that when you're building something the back of a building is kind of a second thought even in development in real life people are kind of like well why would I pay attention to the back of the building when people want to know what it looks like from the front that's the appearance that you get So I think paying attention to the back of the building is not as important. If you're doing gardens or anything like that, sure. But if you're building a city build, the back of the building is kind of like an afterthought in a way. So I might do windows back then and I'll still do the little overhang details. But we probably won't do the planter box. This is pretty much all the details that I want to be doing though so I will speed up ahead but there is the little stone buttons there. Now I finished off adding all my windows and I also filled in my windows with the light blue and the white glass panes just like I have done for the rest of the village to kind of get that frosted glass look. Now for my roof details for this build I'm adding some little triangle kind of sections just to the side of the build here like this. And then the left hand side of the build I'll actually be making a kind of like sloped up roof. So this is kind of how I'm having a unique roof for this one. Now you can do any kind of roof that you like. Maybe you have a more rectangular build which you will see later on as well. So you might have a really tall roof. You might want a really flat roof. Anything like that. You just want little things like that to kind of change how the build looks. Now for my roof today, just like all the other builds in the village, I am doing a cobblestone trim and stone brick for the actual roof block. Now I won't be adding the snow on this because I want to be doing that in a live stream just because I don't have the time today. I did post on Instagram to you guys and also my Twitter. If you do check those out, they are linked down in the video description that I did actually have my work hours extended and I had to be up for work at 3.30 a.m. today and I had a nine hour shift I think. So it's just been really hectic with the Christmas period which is why this video is a little bit late as well. So I do plan on adding more details to this build in the live streams and I will actually be doing the interiors in the live stream because I said I wanted to do all my house interiors in a live stream as well so I'm going to leave the shop interiors to that live stream as well. Just because what you put in your shops really depends on what you like. You might not like the idea of me doing a toy shop. Maybe you want to do a food shop or a restaurant that sells roasts or something like that. So how you do your interiors really depends on what you are making or building. So I'm going to do my interiors in a live stream just because I want to show the interiors as I think of them. If that kind of makes sense rather than doing them in this build. So I'm just doing my roof details at the moment with the stone brick, just kind of joining all these little triangle bits up like this. Now this side of the build you're kind of just doing your normal roof like you can see me doing at the moment. So you're just carrying the, like, the roof across to the other side so they all kind of match and join up evenly. Just join up here as well, join up there. But we're just going to finish this off and then we will get to the sloping detail. There's actually not much more for this build. You can see how easy it is to do this. Builds like this are really easy, especially when you're adding lots of little details that kind of all bind well together and they make a really nice looking build. Now that's pretty much that side of the build done. We'll add some under roof details after, but we're going to focus on this left side of the roof now. Now for this side we're going to be using the stone brick slab like this, 
and we're just going to kind of like slope it up and then join it together to this roof here. We'll also use some of these full stone brick blocks for bits that will join up. Now I'm going to do a block here just because it's a little bit easier and join that up there with a full block. There we go. You can go across the whole way like this as well or you can remove these blocks because you don't really need them. Now I have sped up ahead and you can see how I joined my roof up there but basically I just did diagonals all the way in until I ended up with a point and then I just kind of joined them on a side kind of angle just to join them to the main roof area. Now I'm just adding some kind of little overhangs under these roof bits here. So I'm just using the cobblestone slabs which match the roof to do these little overhangs like this. Very simple little ones, you don't have to do something like that as well. Again, this is just one way that you can customize your build so it's completely different to every other one that you're doing in the village shop area. And we'll add the detail to the front as well. Oh, accidentally removed that block there. I think this is looking pretty good now and we're now just going to add a window detail up the top here. Now how you do your shops really depends how you would like them. Maybe you actually, I think typically people live in the higher stories of these buildings in Germany. I know some people would actually own a shop and it would go up into these levels as well. But you could turn the second floor into a living quarters and just make a separate room. I'm going to actually just turn all these buildings into like two different, like one shop but with two different stories. I think that might be quite interesting for all my shops. But for little roof underhang details, you can do all kinds of things. You could add cobblestone staircases, you could add cobblestone fence posts, you could add normal wood fence posts like this, you could add slabs or buttons or anything you can really think of you can add as a little detail just use your imagination but little things like that as well that are all different on every build again make each shop look unique so it's little things like that that make them all different and make them all look better i'm kind of liking though the kind of like slab cobblestone fence post look i think that's looking quite nice so we're going to go for that today just fill in all these as well. There we go. We'll grab some glass panes again, fill in the windows like how I did on the bottom stories, just like this. And we'll add some buttons as well because why not? That's pretty much the house now. I'm actually going to speed up ahead and do a few more of them. I won't do all of them. I might actually build a couple of these houses in live stream as well. So we'll do like three quarters of them. So there we go. I sped up ahead and I finished majority of these buildings but not all. Now here is one that is a rectangle theme where I said it's kind of medieval and it hangs over the building. You can see though how they are all very similar but they all look different. I've added different details down the bottom, different colors, different roof heights, different roof underhangs, different details onto the windows. All those kind of things really make each building look unique and each building look different. It's little things like that can, that can really make your build. But there you go you guys, so that is how to build a North Pole Christmas Village shop in Minecraft. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what kind of things would you put in these shops. But like always guys, thank you. Bye!